Hello children, I am Priyanka and I am your mentor. Today I am here to start with the chapter number 6 that is climate of India. So let's kick start. Answer the following questions. When do you like to wear cotton clothes? Dash. When do you like to wear woolen clothes or jackets? Dash. When do you use an umbrella and a raincoat? Dash. Weather and climate. When you say it is cold today or it is rainy day, you are talking about the weather. Weathers refer to how hot, cold, rainy, windy or cloudy. It is in a place at a particular time. But when you say it is very cold, Cold in the Himadri or the coastal plains are warm and humid. You are talking about the climate. Climate refers to the weather conditions of a large area taken over a long period of time. Climate of a place. The climate of a place mainly depends on the following. How far away it is from the equator. The farther away a place is from the equator, the colder it is expected to be. The northern part of India is cooler than South India. How high it is? The higher place, the colder it is. For example, the higher you go in the Himalayas, the cooler it becomes. How far it is from the sea? The winds from the sea affect the climate of the place. The coastal plains are neither too hot nor too cold because of the breeze from the sea. The plant and animal's life found in a place. The food that people eat and the dress they wear depends on the climate of the place. Seasons most places experience a few months of hot weather, a few months of rainy weather and a few months of cool or cold weather in a year. Each of these revisions of the year that have particular weather patterns are called seasons. India has the three main seasons during the year. Summer, rainy season and winter. The general weather condition of a place during these seasons determine the climate of the place. Summer The summer season starts in March or April and continues till May or June in South India. It starts becoming hot in March and stayed hot till after May. In North India, summer starts in April and goes on till June and July. In summer, it is hot and dry in almost all parts of India, except the mountains. The sun is very hot and days are longer than nights. Hot dry winds called Lu blow in the northern plains. Dust storms are also common in the region. The coastal plains are not so hot in summers because of the cool sea breeze. However, it is very humid. This is the amount of water vapor or moisture in the air is high. Humid weather is uncomfortable as, as it makes us sweat a lot and the sweat takes a long time to dry. Rainy season. From June onwards, winds full of moisture from the Arabian Sea and the Bay of Bengal start blowing to the land. They are called monsoon winds. They bring rain to India. This season is called the monsoon. The rainy season starts in June in South India. In North India, it starts towards the end, end of June or beginning of July. It continues till September. Some parts of India such as the western coast and the northeastern states get very heavy rainfall. Mohsindram 
in the Khasi Hills in Meghalaya received the highest rainfall in India. Parts of the northern plains and the southern plateau receives heavy rainfall. The Thar Desert in Rajasthan and the run of Kutch receive very little rainfall. The Coromandel coast receives rain in November and December. It's time for tits and bits. The highest rainfall ever recorded in a day is 182.5 cm in the La Reunion Island in the Indian Ocean. The highest rainfall ever recorded in one year is 2540 cm in Punji, India. Winter From October onwards, it starts becoming pleasant. The sun is not so hot. The days start becoming shorter and the nights longer. This marks the beginning of winter. It continues till February or March. January is the coldest month. Winters are very cold in the Himalayas. Many places have snowfall. The northern plains are cold. The cold decreases as we go to south. The coastal plains are pleasant during winters. Now it's time for looking back. Climate refers to the weather of large area over a long period of time. Climate depends on the distance of a place from the equator, the height of places and the distance from the sea and mountains. There are three main seasons in India, summer, monsoon and winter. Summer starts in March or April and end in May or June. Rainy season is from June to September. Winter is from October to February or March. Now students, it's time to take your leave. We'll meet in the next chapter. Bye.